Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. You know, as a criminal, you have to be pretty dumb to make statements or to draw attention uh, more and more because you become from the prime uh, suspect, the super prime suspect. In this case, you have the Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2 uh, pipelines that were blown up by someone or some entity which I'm very much inclined to think that uh, it was not Russia uh, and on the contrary it's Russia's uh, main adversary and they draw attention to themselves more and more is like why don't you shut up because talking you talk too much and it's always like this if you are investigated or you're stopped by a police officer the best advice is keep your mouth shut the more you say and the smarter you think you are, the deeper you get in shit. I am telling that direct experience. All right, so let's see what these guys are saying. Now they try to figure out who uh, did what to the Nord Stream. Well, or cover up things or, you know, make up things. We have this article from Reuters, okay? So it's an um, a, uh, impartial <laughs> outlet, news outlet, right? It's from October 4th, 2022. Nord Stream operators. Au authorities won't allow us to inspect damaged pipelines. What authorities? Whose authorities? And who are the, uh, who are the operators? Very interesting article. And I'm... Uh, so, it starts from the uh, Nord Stream 1 statement about Nord Stream 1. So the, the operators of the two Baltic Sea gas pipelines that linked Russia and Germany until they both sprang major leaks last week said that they were unable to inspect the damage sanction sections because of the restrictions imposed by Danish and Swedish authorities. How can they impose it over there? So it was under their jurisdiction under their surveillance, under their monitoring. So they don't want the operators to view their own shit. Why? Because guess what? The, da the Danish uh, authorities and the Swedish authorities will let us know what they found. And with the support of United States of America, <laughs> you can't make shit up. Europe is investigating Europe. What about Russia? Isn't that Russia and Germany's? They should be the main guys investigating. Not the Americans, not NATO, not Denmark, not Sweden. Europe is investigating what caused three pipelines in the Nord Stream network to burst in an act of suspected sabotage near Swedish and Danish waters that Moscow quickly sought to pin on the West, suggesting the United States stood, the, stood to gain. Well. Obviously, you just blow up your own car that you make money with using it. I mean, I think the Russians are in the, not Russian, the Germans are in the worst position. And then it's the Russians and then the Europeans. And last on the list, uh, l not even hurt, are the Americans. The Americans are not hurt at all. They are the winner. The winner takes it all, right? Remember that song by ABBA in the, what, 80s? Uh, yeah. My parents were listening, so yeah. So let's go and uh, see what's going on here. Nord Stream 2 AG, Switzerland-based operator of the gas pipeline, said on Tuesday it will examine the condition of the leaking pipelines once a police investigation of the crime scene is completed and the cordon is lifted. All right, later on Tuesday, so they can in here put that over there make this all right uh, later on tuesday Nord Stream ag operator of the older Nord Stream one pipeline said they had been told by danish authorities that receiving the necessary permit to carry out an inspection could take over 20 working days they need 20 working days to work <laughs> to work at the crime scene <laughs> holy fuck you can't make these things up According to the Swedish authorities, a ban on shipping, anchoring, diving, using of underwater vehicles, geophysical mapping, etc. 
has been introduced to conduct a state investigation around the damaged sites in the Baltic Sea, the Nord Stream said in a press release. Now, I don't understand. Those pipes were by, you know, Denmark and Sweden. So they were the ones responsible for their right, monitoring. As I was about to say Pavlov, Peskov, as Peskov said, they were in the economic uh, jurisdiction of Denmark and Sweden. They know who came in and who went out. They monitor, they should know exactly who those, what came in and what went out. That's monitored by those guys. But remember, the Danish uh, secret service, uh, intelligence services, allowed United States in 2000, what, what was it, 2000? 12 and then in 2019 or 2021 to listen to the European uh, um, politicians uh, conversations phone records and all that United States uh, had access through the Dens to, to Denmark so Denmark was the weasel who allowed United States to get uh, as access to the European market all right. So when I see Denmark over there, for me and United States benefiting, for me it's like you can make things up. It's like you have I don't know uh, Batman here and Robin there. Hey, we found Robin. Uh, where is Batman? You know, kind of like that. So pressure in the pipelines pipeline has uh, stabilized as the as of Monday. Nord Stream added. Switzerland-based Nord Stream 2 said in email comments it was cooperating with all relevant authorities. Copenhagen police are handling the investigation of the crime scene at the Nord Stream 2 leak in the Danish EEZ exclusive economic zone. That's what Pesco was talking. Exclusive economic zone of Denmark. It said the Swedish Coast Guard has co cordoned off, cordoned off the area around the leak in Swedish exclusive economic zone. So what do you want? It's in your yard. And you're telling me the Russians came from Siberia? I read another article saying that actually, and this is what that article said, it's actually this, uh, I can't remember the site that they were talking about, that actually it's Poland and uh, its masters who do, did that and blah, blah. Didn't provide any evidence to support that. That's why I didn't. Uh, made uh, a video on that but here it's clearer and clearer it's in your area your jurisdiction and you tell me the Russians enter somehow like the UFOs or something they're friends with the uh, Martians Kremlin controls Gazprom has has said flows could resume at the last remaining intact pipeline in Nord Stream 2 network a suggestion likely to be rebuffed given Europe blocked Nord Stream two days before Moscow sent its troops. Yeah, so they shot themselves in the foot. So, they're gonna conduct investigation with the help of United States. My God. Like, like you, you allow Al Capone to be the one uh, uh, figure, figuring out uh, what that bootlegging or what that's called uh, with a uh, traffic of uh, prohibition alcohol and all that. And he's going to be in charge of the investigation. <laughs> he will be the first suspect among others over there, but it's okay. Oh my God. It's, it's like a comedy, man. But can you believe that? I read an article where you have 90% of the people believe that actually it was Russia. Believe. It's not because they watched uh, CNN and all that. And I'm not making shit up. It's an article that I read. 90%. And then you have about, I don't know, 7% who uh, are in between and about 3%, 4% I think was, uh, you know, thinking that actually it was someone else. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that's the people we uh, vote with together. So uh, no wonder we have a society as we fucking have. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, stay smart. look for the truth and be just. <laughs>